Hello everyone, it's Cody Soltis again from ConsciousLove.org here for your weekly Angel Oracle Card reading for the week of Monday, September 7th to... What is it? 7th is that... Oh, okay, Sunday the 13th of September. <laughs> I don't have a calendar in front of me. Um, as you can see, I'm dressed the same as the other videos. Um, not because I'm doing it in the same day, but because I'm a gross Californian who just, you know, threw on the same clothes as the day before. Whatever, no big deal, I'm clean. Um, but again, I am going to Pennsylvania in the next couple days. And I really want to get ahead of these weekly readings instead of constantly getting them up like Monday night when I'm already in the week. So I'm trying to do them ahead of time and then when I'm in Pennsylvania I'm actually going to be recording my monthly energy forecasts um, for the month of September. We're already in it or we're going to be by the time you watch this which is fantastic. I'm excited. I don't know why. Hopefully we'll get some insights about that but I know that throwing things are coming in soon. So keep that in mind that good things are coming. Um, again this week I'm working with two decks and again I have people coming into the park but it's the people with the dogs so I love them. I'm using um, the Return of Spirit Oracle cards by Shirley Harnish. One of my favorite decks. They're fractal images. They're so cool. And the Angel Heart Sigils by Stuart Pierce. They just jumped out of my bag. So let's use them. Um, I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, follow me on Twitter, email me go to my website whatever um again i am i am enjoying making this spiritual community with you guys where we can humbly exchange energies where we can be growing together as a spiritual community um and help each other i am not the end all and the be all and the know it all um i just hope to give you some loving insight into your situation at this time and I hope that you can give me some loving insight as well um, whether or not my messages are actually working for you or not um, things like that so let's evolve together it's why we're here on this planet it's why we're attracted to each other at this time it's why you stumble upon this video or you know subscribe to this YouTube channel so um, I love you guys and I'm excited to see you what's coming up <laughs> okay let's get into it I say that all the time, I know. It gets annoying. Whatever. Bye. <laughs> Let's see what's coming up. Hello, air signs. This message is for the Gemini, Libra, and Aquariuses out there. Um, the angels, again, want to be working with you guys first, so that must be significant. I don't know. Um, I'm using those two decks, as I mentioned before. I have one card. That's our general theme of the week from the Return of Spirit deck. Um, and I have three cards, one that is the challenge, one that is the guidance, and one is the wisdom to take out of this learning experience. However, we air signs seem to have a block over our challenge, so I can't wait to see um, what that's all about. So our overall energies this week is voice, and I'm getting really clearly your voices create your reality. What you say and what you verbalize becomes your reality again it's not so much get away from the 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 woo and the magic like this is kind of science this is kind of self-fulfilling prophecy but it also is energy it's all connected um what you say about yourself positive or negative becomes you know something that you continuously say it becomes your habit which becomes your character which becomes your destiny as i think buddha said that I just butchered. Um, also, it pretty much, if you want to go with the spiritual thing, you're programming your energy field with every word that you say. You are programming th things that are circuitous routines. If you want to get neurochemical, every time you have a thought, you strengthen a neural pathway in your brain. So the more that you exercise that muscle, that neural pathway in your brain about, oh my, I suck, that's going to get stronger. And that's all that you're going to think and feel and see. If you do the hard work and start doing some positive um, wordplay, I'll say, um, you're going to build up those neurons in your brain and make them stronger thoughts in your head to make that a clearer vision of the world that you're perceiving around you. They're really shouting out though that, like, hello, your words matter. Your words matter. They make a difference not only in your life, but in the life of others. So watch out this week for what you are saying to other people. Watch how they're actually a reflection of you. The kinder you say things to other people, the kinder you feel about yourself. They're saying. That's weird. 
but okay. Same thing, the more negative you are to other people, the more negative you feel about yourself, the more negative you just feel, the more negative energy you carry around that just has to get out, and sadly it's contagious. But you forget that you're a transmuter, you're a transformer of this energy. So if because energy comes into you doesn't mean it has to go out the same way. Let it come in, whatever it may be, but you have the divine gift to transmute that energy to something positive, to something loving, to something life-giving and life-sustaining. So if there's bullies or if there's just negative downers around you, know that you have the power to take that energy and raise its vibration. You can do it. It's a matter of choice. It's a matter of awareness. But you can do it. So they're really saying be mindful. Be really, really mindful of what you say this week. Because you're not going to realize the impact it has. Both positive or negative. But I'm getting, some of you might be saying things like without thought to like little kids or to your loved ones or whatever it may be that you don't know has a lasting effect on them. Little things can add up. Little things can add up. And that's what we're talking about. When you just think oh, those words, you don't think they matter. Energetically, they add up. <laughs> Even just think of any time someone called you a bad name or worthless or this or that. You've experienced that so much, even though it was all minute little slivers of negativity now and then. Over the course of your human history, though, it's weighing you down. And now this next person who might not be really trying to hurt you, but, you know, they're just having a bad day and they say something that upsets you. And even though it wasn't intentionally trying to put you down... It is negative energy that's being laid atop the rest that you still carry. So they're saying also use your voice power for good. If you have negative energy within you, be expressing it in a positive light. Be transforming it. Be journaling. Be singing. Be talking to friends. Going to therapy. Whatever it may be. Verbalize. Talk to those people in your life who you haven't been talking to that you should be talking to. You know who I'm talking about. If this resonates with you, go talk to that person. If you've been holding it back, go talk to that person. Go talk to that person because you're just holding the energy inside of you. Let it flow. Let it flow. Don't be worrying they're saying either about the negative reactions of other people. The energy has to balance. Don't, don't protect other people from their own reactions. That's their choice. Okay? Um... If it's coming from a loving place, from you, if you're doing it because you love yourself and you need to take care of yourself, and you're not intentionally being rude about it, you're just saying, hey, these are my feelings, and I'm trying to say it with love, if they choose to take that and process it in a negative way and then send it out in a more negatively, hey, that has no reflection on you. That is no reflection on you. Take that as a learning opportunity, that at least you did what you had to do. And please, no matter what, negative reactions come out because sometimes we think other people's reactions are um, you know judgments on us um, no not always not always um, <clears> there's <throat> a divine reflection thing the divine law of attraction thing works in a multitude of ways so be mindful to be open up and thinking about that so that's a mouthful <laughs> that just vocalized a lot of stuff for you guys this is a high energy week I can feel it for us um, so let's just see, we have, interesting, mm -hmm. challenge of the week, stillness. <sighs> but with a block of euphoria, no matter what you try this week, it's going to be seeming like all you want to do is sit still, like all you want to do is relax and shit just keeps hitting the fan, excuse my French, but like drama from other people keeps coming your way. They're saying it's important to find time to disconnect, to meditate, obviously, I always say that every single week, to ground yourself, you know, that's standard. You should be doing that always. Um, but it's like you're looking for happiness this week and it's gonna continually be slipping your grasps if you it again if you aren't responding with love so these confrontations you can have with these people can be much shorter and mu much less painful and obnoxious <laughs> for you if you take the, the time to collect your thoughts 
and then to verbalize and express yourself directly, concisely, and with love. Um, that's going to help, you know, finish up these energies and just give the exchange and be done with it so you can both move forward. I'm sensing that you're going to be the one who moves forward first. You're going to be the one who just says your piece, you get done, and they might still be clingers. But so long as you make that intention of no, like we're done, in a loving May, um, you know, you cut the cords, um, they eventually will stop clawing at you. I'm getting with their aura tentacles. <laughs> Which I have seen, that is an actual form that your energy can take sometimes, there's just little wiggly things, I've seen it in real life, as well as in um, texts that I've studied, so uh, it's kind of like the energy just kind of snaking to try to latch onto other people's energies. Um, this is also telling me that although you are aware of the positive energies that are coming in for you soon, we're finishing up this clearing process. We're finishing up the cleansing process. Hello, you. I am happy to hear that because I've been waiting a long time for my euphoria, for my good times. Okay. Uh, but again, they're saying it's not about that. Um, it's just literally, it's about getting rid of, um, getting rid of all that ego junk, you know, dealing with what you have to, saying your piece, letting all the energy flow. And then worrying about your own evolution instead of worrying about picking everyone else up um, and, you know, living for other people. Because I know, at least for me, I tend to take everyone else's energy on myself. Um, or, like, if they're sad, I'm not that I'm empathetic, where it's, well, I am empathetic to a degree. Um, it's not like, oh, if you're immediately sad, I'm sad. But if I try to make you happy and, you're, and then I make you sad, whoo, does that kill me? So, I know I'm learning to discern and to disconnect my own energies because that's my own form of reaching out to people to get loving energy that I might not have for myself sometimes. I'm too positive. Sometimes energetic um, vampires, again, I don't like that word, um, are just overly giving. And I, I experienced that also in real life where um, I was at like a psychic development class and it was just me and some other person and we were just trying to fill each other's auras, and I was just like, hug, like energy giving all this love. And then someone told me, let's try that again, but Cody, just pull it back, do this, whatever. I know that was a positive thing you were giving. And I was like, oh, that feels weird for me. But when I did it, I was finally able to feel the love that was coming in. But my loving, my givingness was so misproportional. I wasn't even feeling the love that was coming in that was trying to help me. It's also, it's also possible that I was washing the energy away because I would say, hey, all this love, like processing in my energetic field, it has to go out, it has to go out, it has to go out, it has to go out. Can't come in. I have to go out so I can get it from other people. But as soon as it starts coming in, I push it right back out so that they know, hey, I'm, I'm nice. Hey, I'm likable. Hey, you should love me. And it defeats the purpose. It's counterproductive. Uh, it just, it really is. So learning to just take that moment to bring your energy in like how they say like what 18 inches or 17 inches of your body or better yet into your body imagine a line around you where it's just hey you're contained you're within yourself you're not all spread out and then you'll be amazed to be actually feeling the energy of love coming into you how you'll be more mindful when you stop trying and pushing so hard that the love is already there we just weren't aware of it okay that's what I, I want to bring to your attention because again your thoughts create your reality again voice um, but I don't it's so hard to put into earthly terms so I'm hoping you're getting the energetic feeling uh, energetic message I'm sending throughout my heart right now <laughs> through this camera because um, it's it's easy to be misconstrued if you hear it in English maybe it's better in Spanish I don't know yeah. so what were these was obstacle guidance and then wisdom right challenge guidance wisdom okay <laughs> hope that's right that's what i'm going with okay that's what we're going with they're saying so our guidance is upside down does that matter we have zaf kiel we have zaf kiel again oh okay being mindful that you're going to be swept up 
by love and awe soon. You can probably even start feeling the, the pull of this positive energy in your life leading you towards something good and possibly a new relationship, possibly a new business venture, who knows? But you're probably feeling it, you're probably sensing it if you're tuned in. What are you saying? Okay, so this picking up in Lee. Ooh, okay. So it's, it's going to be a little bit forceful change. Excuse me. Which is why we need to be doing this clearing and this cleansing um, with these people. They're saying this energy is going to come in and just whisk you away and it's going to be even more uncomfortable if you're weighted down by all this energy and all this bag bag baggage. <laughs> so, be doing the work because good things are coming and they're going to sweep you off your mother loving feet people it's going to be fantastic and amazing and you're going to be in awe of your life and you're going to be in awe of how everything fits together and you're going to have a moment of oh oh my god that makes sense now why i had to go through that that bs because if i didn't i would be in such a different place right now when these good things were coming i might not even have let it into my life if i didn't let go of this other crap so yeah oh big shift big shift big energetic shift big whoop, 180 and it's the horn it's sacral again i'm i'm feeling that romantic sexual loving intimate energy very um lower chakra but again lower chakras aren't bad people oh yeah i hate when people think that <laughs> um very earthy very connected you're gonna be uniting with people in the physical it may be sexual maybe communal maybe both <laughs> Oh, wow, a whole big influx of people are on their way in the physical to come a part of your life. Wow. Whew. And you're going to be amazed. You're going to be in awe. Like, holy crap, how did all this stuff just magically happen? Hello, you did the work. <laughs> Hello, you cleared out your sugar honey iced tea. You got out there. You made it happen. <sighs> and again, it's so difficult to try to express it. Sometimes it's... Ugh, ugh. So how do I say this better, guys? Let me ground myself, because I am never grounded. That's why I do this outside. <laughs> There's a, tell them good things to come. We don't have to get into a big science lesson. It'll be way over your head anyway. My head. So, again, the knowledge kind of, the way I understand um, channeling and intuition to work, that, you know, they could help me slowly. Um, but if the information isn't there in my left side of my brain or whatever, you know, it's easy to convey things with my artistic, my more symbolic right side, because that's just what I am. I'm left-handed, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I am much more divine feminine than I am divine masculine. Um, but again, just if the information's not in your brain, at least some of the concepts to work with, if it's just too advanced, like they can stream it through, but you're not gonna connect it, the dots and get it fully or be able to relay it, even though you might have this sense of knowing, but it's like, damn, I wish I could say that. I wish I could understand it, though. I feel like I understand. It's weird. If you experience spiritual channeling or mediumship or psychic um, energy readings, I think you know what I'm saying. So let's get over to the wisdom about what we're going to be learning from this whole experience. So I'm, uh, ooh, ooh, girl. Genius. Um, they're saying spiritual genius in my head. This is not about me. <laughs> this is about you. It's for all of us. Um, this is about validating your intellect, validating your spiritual experiences, validating your intuition and your intellect. Both, 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 both. We got the purple energy here. Um, very indigo, very third eye crowny. There's a little pinkish in there. Yeah, I make weird faces and voices in my camera. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it did come up upside down. I'm not getting it to full block, but it needs to be flipped around, they're saying. So right now we're not honoring our own genius, our own greatness, our own value. Again, that's why we're kind of dealing with this. What are you saying about yourself to yourself that you're believing? Change that. So you change the way you believe about yourself so you feel better. Same thing here. If, since we have had all that negativity within us and we're not processing it, spirit's going to be bringing some people our way. Again, we're going to help each other because they have their own path and so do we, but it's going to be perfectly unified together. Um, 
the piece that you're searching for, you're going to have to go through a little bit more ruckus this week, um, but it's going to be very clearing. Um, and then once everything starts falling together, because you're doing the work and you're letting go of those things and you're... I'm getting not so much kind of the ties with certain people, but you're saying, hey, like, this is not happening anymore. I respect myself now. I love myself now. Okay. So, um, yeah. Again, it all comes down to your self-esteem, to how you're talking about yourself. Um, and you're going to be valuing yourself a lot more. And that's the part of this, um, this wisdom in this journey. Um, you're going to be understanding how everything clicks, which that's where the spiritual genius comes through. It's going to be like, whoa, it all makes sense. So this is a moment for you guys to be looking at your life, the part, the energy that you're giving, as well as the energy you're getting, to seeing how it all works together, to be analyzing and understanding this complex energetic stuff, but you're going to get it. Okay, so you might have to go through some bumpy times, but again, it's all for your transformation. The yin of the yin yang is not evil and damning. No, it's a divine mother, number one. It's more emotional. It's more lower chakra, which just means it's the opposite, but equal. Um, so yeah, it's transformative. Okay. Um, if it feels dark, it's a moment for you to shine your light. And that's what we want. We want to put you in times of darkness so that you can be the one shining, okay? And be having that individual moment of pride and good pride, healthy, loving pride, and not overcompensation pride or dimin diminishing other people pride. Um, healthy, self-loving pride, okay? This is going to be a fantastic week, you guys. Obviously, there's going to be bad stuff in it, but it's all for a good reason. So keep that in your mind. Be reminding yourself and talking about that that even though you're presented with these challenges it's a workout people you can overcome it you can do it okay source loves you does not give you things that you can't handle okay okay i don't know it's a gay thing whatever <laughs> um so yeah i think that was a fantastic reading i love you guys so so much Peace out, Girl Scouts. Have a fantastic week. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. Email me at queer.spirit.guidance at gmail.com or go to my website, consciouslove.org. And please follow me on Twitter at conscious underscore love. Um, it's super fun. <laughs> I'm excited to be conversing with you guys. And again, let's make a spiritual community. I'm not here to be just the teacher. I am student as well. And so are you guys. Teach me some things. Um, let's have a free reading together. Let's just chat. Let's share a divine spiritual experience together and exchange energies and grow, okay? I'm here to live the path with you, okay? Love you guys so much. Thank you for your continued support. Angel blessings.